Hey, 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 what it is? It's what you got on it Wednesday. Are we live? Are we live? Do you see me? Are we live? Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to what you got on it Wednesdays. Thank you so much for joining me for another. I found a way. I found a way. Come on. Thank you for joining me for what you got on it Wednesday. We're going to have a good time tonight. I appreciate everybody for joining me last night. I'm proud of me. If you're proud of me, go ahead, proud of me. That's that uh, Mama Duke, Ballsy. Found a way. Found a way is probably one of my favorite songs. I found a way. I found a way. If you found a way to make it through, to make it to this Wednesday, to make it to hump day, pat yourself on the back. You found a way, goddamn it. You found a way during a pandemic to make it to the 12th month of the year 2020. Pat yourself on the back. You found a goddamn way, goddamn it. I'm proud of you. So we're going to get into my tops of 2020. Last Wednesday, I did the top five films that I watched and that I recommend for folks to watch of 2020. Tonight, we're going to do the top five albums. So as I was working on it, I was like, oh, I'm just going to do top five albums. And then I started getting to genre and then it became a thing. So what I decided to do is to do two different genres, like top five hip hop, pop artist, and then top five R&B Albums. So, top five hip hop pop albums, top five uh, R and B albums. And for me, hip hop is pop, so it's gonna lean more hip hop than pop. But for me, pop music, like popular music, is hip hop. Hip hop is the most jo- popular genre. Excuse me, that's out right now. So I'm gonna do top five uh, albums of 2020. These are my opinions. I want you all to drop in the comments what your top five albums are. If you agree, what was maybe your favorite songs on that said album? Um, and have fun with me. Let's make this a conversation. I appreciate you for joining me. This is what you got on it Wednesday live here on Instagram. I am fundraising to make my film retros. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, excuse me, for being here. I appreciate you for joining. I appreciate all the donations that we've gotten so far. We are doing on pace right now to have hit our first goal of a thousand dollars. And I appreciate everybody for joining. What's cracking? Oh, my boo's in the building. And we love to see it. And we love to see it. Thank you for joining me um, for my top five albums slash multiple albums <laughs> of 2020. Um, drop in the comments what your favorite, um, if you're joining right now, what your favorite song, um, what your favorite song is right now. What's, what's the song that you're streaming on repeat in your playlist as I begin to pull up my first suggestion for my top five R&B albums of 2020. I feel like R&B had a great year this year. So we're going to show it love. Uh, let's see. What's my top? All right, we'll start with this one because, I mean, I got to love it. I just watched their concert last night. Shouts out to Verizon. You already know, Chloe and Halle. Chloe and Halle's Ungodly Hour. Let me tell you, folks, that album knocks from track one all the way i think it's 10 tracks to track 10 a wonderful play uh sequence of songs every song just flows into the next it's it's one of those play it and walk away for me ungodly hour had hit after hit Ooh, ari lennox yes that's one of my favorite albums ari lennox is the album that ari lennox is um shea butter baby and uh ungodly hour are my go-to clean the house records i know you know what i'm talking about that clean the house, the music that you pop on to clean your whole house, that you just turn on, walk away, and keep going. Back in the day, I know from my mom's, it was definitely Anita Baker, one of Anita Baker's albums, or multiple Anita Baker albums. For me, it's definitely Ari Lennox, Shea Butter Baby, and Ungodly Hour. I was saying earlier, Chloe and Halle shut it down in their uh, live performance last night. <sighs> Chloe baby okay chloe was in her bag i mean obviously hallie as well was in her bag but chloe was just 
I said, okay, okay, I see the hot girl jumping out and I'm not mad about it. If you haven't downloaded Ungodly Hour, if you're not listening to Ungodly Hour, please go stream it right now. I think they have a couple of Grammy nominations for this album. They've been working really hard. The kids are all right. Um, was also another great album that they put out. I'm really glad that they are getting their just due. Shouts out to Chloe and Hallie. The Ungodly Hour, excuse me, Ungodly Hour is a phenomenal album. One of my top five albums, top five R&B joints. Top five R&B joints of the year. See, yes. You already know what time it is. They say, yep, that's it. Another one, another one, Justine Sky. So Justine Sky came in 2020 with her Bear With Me, the album. Vibes, that, that alto range, that, mm, like, so smooth, so silky. This album, another top to bottom, top to bottom, play it through. I've got a lot of favorites. One of my faves is a uh, fave on the album. A great album. Justine Sky keeps giving us beautiful works that I feel like are being overlooked. And I just really want folks to tap in because, like I said, R&B had a great year this year. Dope projects coming out of R&B artists this year. And this absolutely is on my top five R&B albums of 2020. I don't know when exactly it came out. I want to say probably at the top of the year, maybe in January, February. I don't know, but uh, been listening to it all quarantine, all quarantine. For me, quarantine, my quarantine vibes have been R&B vibes. That's what I've been listening to all quarantine. Uh, another classic R&B album that came out. Please give it up. I'm so happy Janae keeps giving us album after album like she knows what her sound is her sound is defined and she keeps giving it to us time after time and I can appreciate that I know a lot of folks you know want artists maybe to you know try different things and venture out no I'm the type of person like if the sauce is popping don't mess with the recipe you know what I'm saying don't tweak the recipe keep the sauce the same Janae's uh Chalombo album is definitely keeping the album, keeping that sauce the same, but just uh, maybe just letting it marinate a little bit longer. She's definitely a consistent artist. I appreciate that. It's a go-to. And I put the deluxe album up because the deluxe album came out and I was like, dang, did you hit me over the head with more tracks that I got to hear that I need to listen to? What's up, Rhonda? What's up, Candice? So um, I'm getting into my top five R&B albums of 2020. Uh, right now I'm giving praise to Janae's album because it's one of my favorite R&B albums, an uh, album I play from top to bottom, cleaning the house. I worked, a, I worked on, um, retros, like a lot of my writing sessions were spent listening to this album. She, she has this, um, tone and just like this sonic mood that just puts me in a creative space. I appreciate Janae and her artistry. It's always popping. If you haven't listened to the Deluxe album, like I said, tap in. There's a feature on there with her sister, Mila J, that does not disappoint. Absolutely, definitely Grammy-worthy, Grammy-nominated. Loved that album. R&B was a mood and a moment in 2020 that really helped me get through. Another album, Division, Amuse and Her Feelings. Division's falsetto and the way uh, he moves, you know, Daniel, that is. But the group division, but the way Daniel moves from that that falsetto to his, you know, to his uh, what is that the the chest the chest voice? I've been drinking. Um, let me pause, everybody. If you're if you're having a drink, salud. Yes. Um. Oh yes, Mila J. That's that's Bay. But um, he, he just moves from that that head voice to chest voice so smoothly. I'm like, oh Daniel, you're doing it to me. Mm. And that uh, Snow Allegra feature, that Ty Dolla Sign feature on this album, Ty. One time for Ty Dolla Sign, another R&B um, crooner. I appreciate what he's done for the genre. I appreciate the offering. If you're not listening to Amusing Her Feelings, please put that into your rotation. Okay, so so far we got into three albums. So we went from Amusing Her Feelings. Maybe I did four. I've been drinking. Like I said, I've been drinking. Um, uh, also, Justine Sky, Bear With Me, the album, another R&B album that I feel like needs to get its praise in 2020. The Ungodly Hour, of course, from Chloe and Halle, period, per um, Janae, the deluxe uh, Chalumbo album. And last but not least, I'm going to come in with this classic local joint. If you know, you know. And if you don't, if you don't know, you better get to know Blast. I'm trying to tell you, No Love Lost from Blast sounds like 
California R&B. You feel me? It just, it has this ride, you know, you just want to ride out to it. It's got that like West Coast bop, but the melody just sits in a pocket. You know, it's kind of like, you know how Nate Dogg like was sitting in a pocket on his features and when he's just dropping them hooks, that's kind of like the flow in terms of just being in a pocket. This album, another album I play top to bottom, love it can't get enough of it has to be in your rotation and if you haven't checked out the deluxe please check out the deluxe he hits you over the head just like janae did and what i appreciate about these r&b folks is they're like oh my fans love the album oh it's streaming well well let me put the joints that maybe didn't make the original track list or maybe you know some stuff that i've made afterwards that i thought might fit this you know this space i appreciate them double he put something else on there for the kids to get into um, and I know I said five, but this is really going to be six because I can't let 2020 go on without singing the praises of Give Me On. Yes, crooner. Yes, crooner. And Give Me On to me is a crooner. Give Me On is that baritone R&B flavor. Look at this cover. Like, he looks like an R&B singer. He got the leather pants on, the, the popping ass pointed boot. You feel me? The little t-shirt. Give Me On's voice. Uh, buttery. You know, he, he was saying in one of his uh, L song associations that he really started to listen to Frank Sinatra to get comfortable with his baritone voice. And I've been on him ever since. What's cracking, Marcus? Thank you. Welcome to the welcome to the live. We're going over the top five albums of 2020. My, you know, um, my top five albums of 2020. Right now I'm getting to the R&B joints. So take time. Absolutely. If you're not listening to take time, please treat yourself to the vibrations of take time and then after you do that listen to give ep that he dropped at the beginning of the year so he was featured on um on drake's uh chicago freestyle and um that 2 30 baby i can't sing y'all I ain't gonna, i'm not even gonna do it but you know that song so he was featured on that and then he dropped this ep to let folks know like i'm not just a feature artist i does this and I appreciate it. I appreciate where R&B is right now, the sound, what's coming out from the young folks. Uh, Give Me On's from Long Beach, a young cat. Love his baritone. I appreciate you all for joining me for What You Got On It Wednesdays. We're going to get into the top five albums, R&B albums, and the top five pop albums um, of 2020. Some stuff that I've been listening to as I've been working on retros and my creative bag, um, really focusing on getting these characters to come to life. Um, and building my production team. Shouts out to all my production team who are in the house tonight. I appreciate you for joining. Shouts out to my producer who's been here every live. Renee, if you're getting a message from Renee to join the live and you join, I appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Um, I, I love that you all are in the space with us in the house. In the house. Okay, so um, a lot. I wanted to, to highlight this album. I didn't know if it was like for me, hip hop, R&B, pop. For me, K Camp, you know, he does it all and he does it really well. And I feel like a lot of folks might not know about him. You know, I'm not from Atlanta, but I spent a lot of time in Atlanta, went to school in Atlanta, and I have an affinity for Atlanta artists. K Camp is one of those. But this Kiss 5 Deluxe, telling, I'm telling you, it's got Fabo on that. Okay, if you're from Atlanta, then you know what time it is. But if you're not, you know it's that Laffy Taffy all day. Please. Give yourself some time today to get into, excuse me, tonight to get into Kiss 5 Deluxe by K-Camp. That thing slaps, slaps, top to bottom, slaps, period. What's up, KJ? Thanks for joining. Hopping in the joint. All right, so now that we're going through the top five, so we had Chloe and Halle, Ungodly Hour, right? Absolutely. We had um, Bear With Me, the album, Justine Sky. We had Kiss 5 uh, from K Camp, we had Chalumbo Deluxe from Janae. We had No Love Lost from Blast. Let's get into my favorite rap albums of the year. Oh, we also had Give Me On all of his projects because that's on period. Um, let's get into, yeah, let's get into that, and then I'll talk about some artists that I feel like are bubbling right now that you should be checking out that you should tap into. Let's start with the local D Smoke. Who else watched that Netflix show? What was that Netflix? Can you drop in the comments what the Netflix show was that D Smoke was on? But I know it was a Netflix show. Cardi B, Chance the Rapper, T.I. were the host. And um, he won the show. And I found out about him when he dropped his EP, Inglewood. And I was like, yo, what is this? I, I feel like Tiffany Goucher. I follow Tiffany Goucher, another amazing R&B artist. Um, 
and she posted about the album. And I was like, oh, let me tap in because, you know, Tiffany's got a great ear. I tapped into Inglewood. I was like, who is this guy? And then I hopped on YouTube and I saw that he was on the show. So it made me go watch the show, right? I say all that to say, maybe go watch the show. Man, D Smoke is the truth. You know what I'm saying? He is the truth like Paul Pierce. You hear me? That's all, period. Go listen to D Smoke. Um, it's an amazing album. Black Habits, amazing, amazing album. It absolutely deserves to be in the category for uh, best rap album of the year. If you haven't listened to it, please give yourself some time again tonight to get into all this. Put them all in rotation. Put it on shuffle. Surprise yourself and get into the mood of D Smoke. It's got amazing features on this album. I really, really enjoyed it. It was my shit sugar honey iced tea. Um, and another local artist here in Los Angeles. I say local because that's where I'm living right now. Um, and that's a sound that's just been in my headspace as I've been creating. Roddy Rich, excuse me for being antisocial. Roddy said, this is my sound. This is where I'm at. And this is how I'm moving. And I love it. And like probably six singles off this album already easily. I don't know how many he really had, but this album into it. I love the box. That got me through the like the beginning of 2020. I feel like Oh, snap. Is that 2019? Snap. Maybe that's why. Okay, y'all. Okay, I was a little tipsy. I've, been, I've still been listening to Roddy Rich. Clearly, he can't make the 2020 cut because he came out of 2019. It must have happened at the end of the year. If you ain't listening to it, please listen to it. Roddy Rich, please excuse me for being antisocial. It's one of the best debut rap albums from an artist in a really long time. Okay, so that, that works because I had like six on this list. So actually, it's really five. And a 2019 recommendation. So, Roddy's that 2019 recommendation. Um, no tea, no shade. Man on the Moon 3, The Chosen, Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi gave us a wonderful trilogy with this album of the Man on the Moon series. I appreciate him for just being in his Cudi bag. Giving us that sound that I've grown to love. That is Help me navigate some of my darkest times, some of my highest times. I appreciate Cuddy for dropping this album right when he did. It feels like a lot of my favorite artists put out work right at the end of 2020 to kind of be like, okay, we going to, no worries, we going to get through. It's been a lot, but we going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got something to look forward to. And I appreciate Cuddy for that. Um, Rhythm and Flow. Thanks, KJ. Rhythm and Flow. That's the show. D Smoke was on Rhythm and Flow. That was a great show. Matter of fact, probably KJ. KJ puts me on everything. I've been talking about Pluto TV. KJ put me on a Pluto TV. If anything, if I talk about something, it's probably because I talk to either KJ or Evolve about it. <laughs> My homies make me cool. Um, but Kid Cudi, Man on the Moon 3, another top album of 2020 for sure. If you're not listening to it, please tap in. I know y'all said, y'all, excuse me, I know you all heard me say earlier, Atlanta, how much I love Atlanta. I used to live there. The sound is in my heart forever. So, of course, I mean, come on. When Lil Baby put this out, I was just like, I already know. You know, I pre-saved it because I already knew. There was already, because I think at that point he had dropped Whoa and a, another uh, single. And I was like, oh, this is going to be it. This is going to be it. This is going to really propel him. And lo and behold, this year he's the Apple Music uh, Artist of the Year. He had a great run. I feel like the babies this year, Little Baby and Da Baby, had two of the best runs in rap. You know, also Megan Thee Stallion. Meg Megan Thee Stallion also was cracking. Sam Megan Thee Stallion absolutely had a great run in rap. But in terms of just like putting out projects after projects and just always seeing their videos and and seeing them everywhere, definitely um, them babies definitely had it popping. But my turn, Deluxe. Absolutely need to be listening to that. Definitely the one of the top uh, rap albums of the year, um, in my personal opinion. Um, I'm still listening to this right now. This album right here. I was going to hold it to the end, but I got some of my favorite folks in here, and I want them to see this, um, see the shout out. Not see the shout out, but see this album so that they can check it out. Ballsy. Ballsy is absolutely my top album of the year. Number one. Mama Duke's debut album, Ballsy top to bottom introduces us to the artist that she is right it it just breathes and screams her personality her sound i love it the melodies on there are knocking um favorite songs only one 
with Jay Blue. I'm so glad that I threw that on there at the end. That's I'm so happy that's gonna be the next video. Um, what else? Mad. Um, what else? Which one? Did I just played. Oh my goodness. What did I, what did I just play? I just played. Uh, oh, I feel away is my shit. What did I just play? Ah, oh, found a way. Found a way. That's it. Sorry, y'all. Thank you. Found a way. Found a way is the jam. Please get into Ballsy. Definitely top album of 2020. Another banger is that Carolina boy from uh, 2 a.m. Ricky. My boy Van, who was in here. Dr. Van was in the building earlier. I don't know if there's if he's still in, but put me on the 2 a.m. Ricky. This, excuse me, this Carolina boy. I love when artists introduce us to their story, to their sound, and like a complete album project, right? I can I can walk away from listening to the album and feel like I know who this artist is. And that's exactly what 2AM Ricky gave me with this sound. Again, the melodies, I, I'm favoring, I favor artists who sing, rap. Um, I like I like the way, you know, folks who just Use their their uh, bars to just like ride a beat. Like I'm into that. And even if it's like using the melody to ride the beat, right? For example, the K Camps, 2 a.m. Ricky's, uh, 2 a.m. Ricky does it. Mama Duke, these artists, phenomenal, phenomenal at just catching that pocket, right? And being in it and just riding it in their own specific way. Like these artists that I'm bringing up, to me, none of them sound like the the other artists, right? They all have their own distinct sounds. So if you ain't listening to Carolina Boy, tap into Carolina Boy. It, I put it on here. For me, it's one of the top projects. It's not considered an album. It's an EP. But if you're not listening to AM Ricky, please get put on. Pop that joint in your streaming service on ro not rotation, on repeat. Put that thing in your rotation on repeat. Another artist, shouts out to Hollywood Prada. Well said, well said is the album that I'm playing when I'm working out, when I need that motivation, that, okay, let's get to it. You know, when I'm like, okay, you need to be writing. This is your time to write. Okay, this is what I'm listening to. Um, Hollywood Prada, shouts out to you. Another Atlanta-based um, artist. That sound. Atlanta's where the sound is. Like, Atlanta's where the sound is and where the sound is coming out of, right? Um, 2 a.m. Ricky is also in Atlanta. Shouts out to all the Atlanta artists. Uh, right now, cause y'all, y'all riding the wave. Definitely super talented, um, Hollywood Prada. I appreciate them. Another, another one. And th this is just, uh, this is not part of my top five. These are just artists right here. Well, this particular artist isn't part of my top five. Um, but this is just the artist I feel like you need to be listening to. Deontay Hitchcock, another Atlanta artist. Better Deluxe. Get into it. Get into it. His sound is rocking. It's got uh, bangers. It's got um, smooth joints that you could just play, you know, real cool. Light a candle, burn an incense, smoke an L, roll a joint, roll a blunt. Also got the headband for that Atlanta sound. I appreciate Deontay's uh, braggadociousness on, on the tracks. Probably like right now. My favorite rappers who are just in they just like I'ma talk my shit bag. And I and I really appreciate that. I don't know about you, but I saw that E40 and Too Short uh battle the other day, and I was just like, yo, these artists have been doing this, like putting out consistent content, consistent art for 30 plus years. Like I hope the artists that I mentioned here have a run like that because man, and and they're not and it's not sloppy. It's not like bad music. Like consistently for thirty plus years, putting out great content. So I hope the same for all these artists. Um, get into that new Kamaya. Speaking of the Bay Area, Yay Area. Shouts out to the Warriors. Basketball's back in season. We just got smacked around by the Nets. It'd be like that, but you know, moving on. Um, get into Kamaya's new joint. Uh, no ex uh, no explanations. That snaps, like slaps, excuse me, slaps, bangers. Kamaya, I don't know why you're not getting as much buzz as you should be getting because you're signed to a major, so it should be some more movement over there, but um, maybe you're independent now, so you're about to be moving differently, but shouts out to Kamaya for putting out this great album. Tap in if you haven't already. Um, also, 
2 a.m. Ricky put out a new single. I needed to talk about this single. I had it, I had it playing on another uh, What You Got On It Wednesday where you all join me so we can talk about music, pop culture. We can talk about retros and you all can donate to uh, retros to help me make the film. But I was playing this song and I wanted to shout it out again. 2 a.m. Ricky dropped it featuring CC Penison. That thing. Bop. It's like a house. Bop, like, ah, oh, tell me what you want. Oh, I'm not gonna say it because I don't wanna hurt you all's ears and face right now, but get into it because it is the Sugar Honey Iced Tea. All right, this is gonna probably wrap up my spill for tonight because I'm really feeling this delicious cocktail that I made. Um, but Wiz Kids made in Legos, Wiz Kid. Worldwide pop, worldwide hip hop, worldwide everything. This album, this one, favorite, like one of my favorites. Ballsy, made in Legos. Yeah, that's that's really where I'm at right now. <laughs> made in Legos, Ballsy, that's really what I'm listening to. This worldwide sound that Wizkid is putting out consistently is hitting. Every track hits. All the features are um, complimentary to the, to the sound. All of the features go there. I love them. Uh, I think I'm gonna add just like a few more artists that I want y'all to check out before I close out this, what you got on it Wednesday. Share this brilliant album from, um, called The Experience from, I always really mess up her name and I don't wanna mess up her name, but it's Lay, Lay EK, I don't want to mess it up. I'm drinking. I'm sorry. But this album is an amazing album. Please go listen to it. Uh, reggae jams, worldwide sound, real pocket energy. Like I said, when I'm, when I'm talking about being in the pocket, I know I said it a few times on here, but being in the pocket is like in that bop, like you in the, the bop of the song, right? It's just, it's this place in the music where it's just riding. You know, you just... Ah oh, shit, god damn it. That you know what I'm like that type of feel. Uh Rose in the Dark is also another album that I feel like folks should check out. Uh Cleo Soul. Yes, and this is another artist um that I don't want to mess up their name. Her voice is incredible. Okay. I, I want to say it's Yesult or Yesult. Um she's from France. Brute is the EP. It's not an album, but it's phenomenal phenomenal i'm like listening to her music feeling like i'm learning french you know i'm really working on my my um my french because man i want to be once corona is over and things are safe and there's this new normal i want to be able to go travel and i really want to go to paris i really want to go to france i really want to go to Le Mans. um and i really want to feel like i'm walking the streets of any of these cities and I'll run into her and then I'll be able to have a conversation about how amazing her album is in France. So I'm really studying her album <laughs> so that I could do that. I appreciate it. And last but not least, Liana Le Havis dropped her um, Liana Le Havis um, album. Every time I've seen Liana Le Havis perform live, man, and I might be saying her name wrong right now and I do apologize. Maybe I'm at that point in a drink where it's just like you're butchering everybody's name. Apologies, 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 a thousand apologies. Don't, you know, don't come on, come down on me too hard. But this album, everything. She gives that guitar everything that it was asking for and then some. And then she gives it back to us. And I appreciate you all for joining me, for having a good time with me, for listening to my, my top five slash top probably 15 albums that you should be listening to and checking out for 2020. This has been a great opportunity for me to be able to connect with you all, to be able to ask um, folks in my community to donate, to help me make retros, to share a little bit of what has inspired the film, what has inspired me and my creative journey. If you uh, have given, like I said earlier in my life, I do appreciate you for giving. Thank you all for sharing. I wanna see you next time. Same time, same place. What you got on it Wednesday. We'll be back next week, Wednesday in the house with your boy if i haven't said it to you already in this live i love you i appreciate you thank you thank you for joining me every wednesday for what you got on it wednesday raising money to help make retros 
I'll see you Friday for Black Card Revolt. Yup. We getting back to the cards, you know, for Black Card Revolt Live. Game night, Friday night, same time, same place, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much. Shouts out again to my amazing producer, Renee, for sending out invites. Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you again. And I'm going to let it go out live. Go stream ballsy, baby. <laughs>